All right, y'all, here I have four everything bagels. I just cut them up into kind of like bite-sized pieces, or I don't know, big bite-sized pieces, all right? I sprayed the bottom of my foil baking dish. I have one pound of cooked breakfast sausage, Jimmy Dean. I love this stuff. All right, and then we also, into this, gonna add a little bit of spinach. So I'm just gonna take a few handfuls here, and I'm just gonna like rip it apart so the pieces are kind of smaller, but. Y'all can use different veggies if you'd like, bell peppers or some onion, whatever you want, but I like spinach in this dish. All right, just like that, perfect. So now we're just gonna give this a little, a little rough mix, all right? Real rough, look how rough that is. All right, little mix, oops, we lost one. Okay, that's perfect. All right, y'all, next step here, I'm gonna move this to the side. Y'all are gonna be so happy about this, you have no idea, so happy. We are gonna take eggs. Now, I pre-cracked them and poured them in here. I don't know why it's fun. Plop, 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 that's fun, isn't it? It's fun to watch too, I know it is. All right, we have uh, 12 eggs. I might've done 13 because I lost count, but. We have one and a half cups of half and half. So 12 eggs or 13 if you're like me. Isn't that a baker's dozen, 13? Isn't that true or no, am I making that up? And then we're gonna season this too. We're gonna do some pepper. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, pink Himalayan salt. And then I also like to do some minced onion. I like this, I think it's real good. Some, I don't know, that's however, however much you want. All right, minced onion. Now y'all, we're gonna mix this. Mixy, mixy, with our whisk. Whiskey, whiskey. All right, you could use a fork here too. Forks work real good. Okay, I don't, I don't know, how are you supposed to hold this? Like this or like this? I need help y'all, someone tell me. All right, and then when it's about mixed, y'all, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a cup of shredded cheese. I'm just gonna move this over here because cause I am. Y'all, guess what? I bought a, uh, a food processor. So I shredded all my own cheese, y'all. Isn't that amazing? Aren't y'all proud of me? So we're gonna take about one cup. This is extra sharp cheddar. I'm just guessing. I think, that, yeah, this is about a cup. So this recipe calls for two cups, but we just put one cup right on in our egg mixture, all right? So we're just gonna... Give that a little mixy too. Oh, there's there's another egg yolk. Come on now. Make sure all your egg yolks are smashed. All right. Mix your cheese in. All right, we're gonna move our whisk to the side. I'm getting my spatula ready. All right, now, easy, easy, y'all. We're gonna take our mixture, our 12 or 13 eggs with our one cup of cheese. And we're just gonna pour this right on top of our, uh, the stuff in here. All right, just like that. Okay, y'all. So I love making this dish because some, some one of y'all uh, requested this, but this is basically, uh, this is great for Christmas morning or anytime really because you, you just put all this in here and then you refrigerate it. Has to be at least four hours, but you could do it up to 24 hours, all right? So I'm just gonna cover this and put it in my fridge. And then when we take it out, we're gonna put a little more cheese on and bake it, but yeah, this is perfect and easy. Get it ready the night before Christmas and that's all. All right, y'all, so this has been in my fridge for six hours, all right, y'all? Well, you can't tell because I got lights on, but it's nighttime here now. All right, y'all, so this is what it looks like. So remember, this is an overnight breakfast bake, so it's perfect for Christmas morning or any time, but you put it in the fridge for four to 24 hours. So now we're gonna put it in the oven. Uh, we're gonna put it at 375 for 35 minutes. Then I'm gonna take it out, put one more cup of shredded cheese on top for five more minutes, and I'm so excited to show y'all this delicious breakfast. All right, y'all, I took this out of the oven about 15 minutes ago. So what I actually did, y'all, is I put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. I did not put more cheddar because it looked like there was plenty of cheese, but this looks so good, y'all. And this is perfect for uh, Christmas morning. Get this ready the night before, and then you just pop it in the oven while the kids are opening their presents from Santa Claus. And now we're just gonna, I don't know if I should be cutting this or what, but I'm using enough because why not? <laughs> It's seven o'clock at night right now, y'all. I'm eating, I'm eating breakfast for dinner. Y'all can do that too. I think this is gonna be real good. And actually, y'all, before I do this, someone wants to say hi, y'all. Look at this, look at this little baby, Frankie Foo Foo. Say hi, everybody loves you, baby. Look how fluffy he is, y'all. He's my little baby. He's just sitting on the floor waiting for his dinner. Mm, all right. Little baby, he's so fluffy. All right, y'all. Look at this. Oops. 
I know, I, y'all, I touched the cat and now I'm touching my food. I know that's going to drive some of y'all crazy. Oops, all right. I, I dropped it. All right, we're going to put this right here. This will feed your whole family, y'all, even if you're having some kind of brunch party or something for Christmas. Time to have a bite. Remember, we use spinach, we use sausage, eggs, those everything bagels. I gotta get a bite of this whole thing. It's still kind of hot, but that's all right. Mmm! Mmm! Mm. Y'all, this is delicious. Y'all gotta try this.